Before you start, check that you've got Bluetooth enabled and you can do that by swiping down to get control center and Bluetooth should be blue, meaning it's enabled. That's off, that's on. And also check that you've got iOS 17 and if you go to settings and if you go to general and then software update and I've got iOS 17.12 and then you're good to go. So the first thing we need to do is to turn on our Apple Watch and you just need to press and hold down this side button here until you see the Apple logo. There you go. And then you'll get a message on your watch saying bring iPhone near Apple Watch. So if you bring them together, you should get a pop up message. There you go. And uh, if you don't get this pop up message, then you need to go onto your iPhone and tap on the Apple Watch app to trigger it. So here we could just tap on continue. And now we have an option to set it for myself or for a family member, but I'm going to set it for myself. So I'll tap on that. And now we need to hold the Apple Watch under the camera so that it captures that animated image. And now our Apple Watch is paired. So that's the first bit. So that's brilliant. And we've got an option with store from backup or set up as new Apple Watch. I'm going to tap on set up as new Apple Watch. And we've got wrist preference, left or right. I'm going to go for left, tap on continue. Connecting your Apple Watch, this may take a moment. And I'm actually going to put this on my wrist now. And it's got setting language and activating your Apple Watch, which may take a moment. And here we go. Terms and conditions. I'm OK with that. So I'm going to tap on agree. Signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. Uh, watch analytics. I'm not going to share for now. So I'm going to tap don't share. And then we need to create a passcode. So let's tap create a passcode. And now we need to go to Apple Watch. So let's top our passcode. Now I've got a message saying this code can easily be guessed, but I've used this passcode before and I may change it later. So I'm going to carry on and use this code anyway. So I'm going to tap on use this code. And now I need to enter my passcode again. Okay. And now bold text and size. So uh, I'm going to leave that for now. So set up later in the Apple Watch app. Uh, accessibility. Uh, you can apply your accessibility settings from your iPhone to your Apple Watch. Well, I don't use them anyway for now, so I'm going to set that up later if I need to in my Apple Watch. So tap on set up later. Uh, shared settings again for location, find my iPhone. I'm OK with that. So let's tap OK on that. And here we can personalize our fitness and health for the fitness app. So I'm OK with that. So continue. Uh, and here it's telling us that we can get notifications about our health in terms of noise and cardio. So that's all very good. So let's tap on continue. Are you taking heart medications? I'm not. It's already selected. I'm not taking any medications. So let's tap on continue. And then safety. This is very good because if you have an accident fall over, your watch can ring the emergency services for you. This is all very good. So let's tap on continue for that. Uh, mobile ser service setup. Now I have used the mobile service on my Apple Watch before, but I'll set that up later. So tap on not now. And Apple Pay, that's also very good. You can use your Apple Watch to, to pay for things. So it speeds up paying for things. So I will set that up later. Apple Watch is syncing. And we've got pop up saying device added to your account, which is the Apple Watch. So I can tap OK on that. Now, at this part of the setup process, you should get a hello from your watch and a quick start guide on how to use it. But I didn't get that this time I paired my watch, but I did the first time I paired it for the sake of this video. And it's very useful, so I'll give you an overview of it now. Learn how to navigate Apple Watch. Press the digital crown to see your apps. So let's do that. And here's our apps. Press the digital crown to return to your watch face. And there we go. Press the side button to open control center. And there's a the control center. Press the side button to close control center. 
turn the digital crown to see your widgets. So we just rotate it up and there's our widgets. Welcome to Apple Watch. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, share and subscribe.